On this inauguration day, I invite us as Christians to do what we do on all kinds of days throughout our lives, and that is to pray. Hello friends, it's good to be with you as always. Thank you for taking some time to be with me today. This episode is airing on Wednesday, January 20th. And of course, that means it's airing on Inauguration Day. If I'm not mistaken, I believe uh, today is the 59th inauguration of a U.S. president to a new four-year term. There have been some special inaugurations, midterms, or when a president has died or been assassinated. Uh, but so the 59th inauguration, the first one took place uh, back in 1789 on April 30th when George Washington was inaugurated as our first president. And I was reflecting on what I might say for today's podcast, and I was thinking about, well, maybe I'll lift up something from George Washington's initial inaugural address or the prayer he offered that day, or maybe famously uh, Lincoln's second inaugural, which he gave in uh, 1865, just as the Civil War was coming to an end, and provide some kind of historical context uh, about these important and significant events in our nation's history. Um, it occurred to me then, though, that perhaps I should do something that is at once simpler and perhaps more important and more uh, profound, and that is simply to offer a prayer or two for today. Um, I have a couple of books here which uh, will be familiar perhaps to those who are pastors who may be listening. These are called um, the Occasional Service Books. Uh, I've got an older one here that's pretty beat up and a newer one um, in this uh, cranberry red. And these um, books offer short services and prayers for just about any occasion in life that you can imagine. I'll lift up just a few. There are prayers and services for things like um, maybe traditional church services like communion or baptism, certainly. But then there are also prayers and services for healing and wholeness, uh, for difficult choices regarding treatment, for even loss of memory, which is affecting many in our culture today. Um, there are prayers for addiction or recovery, thanksgiving for caregivers, which we certainly offer um, in the wake of 2020 and the ongoing uh, work of our caregivers around COVID-19. There are prayers around life-sustaining care being ended, around uh, death or imminent death. There are prayers for marriages, prayers for blessings of homes, uh, prayers for the birth of a child or an adoption of a child, prayers for things as simple as a birthday or friendship, um, and importantly for today, there are prayers for military or other national service. And so on this inauguration day, as a pastor, I thought I would invite all of us to do what Christians are called to do on all kinds of occasions, not only um, major occasions in the life of our nation as today is, but also uh, occasions that are sort of more every day, and pray. Uh, and I'm, so I'm gonna pray this prayer for those in uh, national service, and then, as it happens, just after that comes a prayer for us in time of conflict. And I think we can all agree that the nation has um, is continuing to undergo something of a conflict today, and we're gonna pray for that as well. So first of all, uh, this is for those in national service. Let us pray. Almighty God, we commend to your gracious care and keeping all the men and women who serve this country at home and abroad. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations. Give them courage to face the perils that surround them and grant them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. And then this prayer for all of us that was focused on those who serve our country, including our elected officials. This is a prayer for all of us who are part of this amazing and wonderful country we call the United States. So again, let us pray. God, our refuge and strength, you have bound us together in a common life. In all our conflicts, help us to confront one another without hatred or bitterness, to listen for your voice amid competing claims, and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect through Jesus Christ our Lord. And all God's people say, Amen. 
Thanks as always for being with me today. Be well, stay in touch, and God bless.